cop behind him stopped him when he looked over and saw me coming down here. Mm. They were going to let him cross. I don't understand what he's saying, but he's probably telling him to come back in an hour. Mm. At least they're turning him around. Yeah. For now. They'll be back. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Hey guys, this is Jim. I'm down at Monument One. I just wanted to show you guys something. We had a little group over here. Uh, that's the Mexican police I've been telling you about that are parked on the Mexico side. Um, what's been happening is since they've been parked there, that's why they've been taking different routes, like going behind the mountain, up over the hill. But that was a group right there that uh, tried to cross the border. They turned them around. Um, they're just going to go back and they'll come around probably this way, behind the cop. Or they'll uh, they'll come in um, over on the other side where uh, where all the activity was at our base camp last night. Um, and I'll show you guys daylight pictures of that area if you guys haven't seen it. Um, later on, I'll show you before the sun goes down exactly where that happened and you know where it was. But that was right at our base camp. Uh, our final count was right around 500 people. We had two different groups of 250 people come in. Um, and they just scattered. They, they went in every direction. And it took uh, took half the night to round everybody up. So for those of you that were watching last night and wondering why I really couldn't move is because we were detaining groups um, that, uh, you know, were scattered as we got them. So <clears throat> I had to keep them put so they didn't run off while we were uh, uh, rounding everybody up, waiting to get them in a van to get to process. So, but yeah, I just wanted to show you. So yeah, there's the Mexican police. This is, um, oh, for those of you that don't know where this is, I am on the U.S.-New Mexico border, very close to El Paso. It's in the El Paso sector. That right there, what you're looking at is Mexico. And as you guys can see, there's absolutely uh, no wall. There's no barrier fence. There's nothing. They can drive down the road, drop people off, and... Um, you know, they come through here and then they head up to the hills and I mean, literally it's, it's like a Greyhound bus station. They can just do whatever they want. So a matter of fact, it's funny because the sign here, I showed you guys this sign before, but it's ridiculous. It just says, uh, boundary of the United States of America. Okay. So. I don't know if we have borders or boundaries or if those are one and the same. Um, but in either case, that's all that stands between us and whoever wants to rush the border over here on this side. For those of you who have seen the other side where base camp is, you know that's where the wall ends and, and uh, you know, you can uh, see it's not very hard to get through there either. So uh, they are working a deal right now that we, we built the wall, the private uh, wall funding. Um, that everybody donated to the GoFundMe page for the wall, Brian Kovach. They are working a deal with the property owner right now to put up a citizen-funded, us Americans who funded and donated, to put a wall right here, guys, right along here, to close off this monument, which is which is a major, major area that needs to be shut down. This is a huge, easy access point. Uh, to go from one city in Mexico and then uh, uh, convenient access to get into another city. Um, yep, Kip, it's about a five-mile section that's open. Yep. And so that's uh, that's kind of what we're looking at here, guys. And I just wanted to show you a little daylight picture here. I thought those guys might cross. I wanted to see if the police would actually turn them around. That's why I went live because I was going to get a video of them if they let them through. They almost did let them through, um, but uh, they did turn them around. So, um, But I promise we'll see those guys later on another video. They're not done. Probably over there. You know, they're probably right over, like I said, they're probably right over here. It's a little jaunt up here. Um, and you guys all know the Mexican cops will take a little $5, $20 tax and, and then turn their head the other way. So... 
either way it's not changing anything that cop was here yesterday and it, all it did was force the traffic and and uh, they get in these bigger groups they don't care who's there they don't care if you're a cop border patrol helicopter um doesn't matter so well thank god it's not storming here surely i'm, I'm glad about that we've got uh, decent weather it's not terrible here the winds died down we had 75 mile an hour winds two nights ago that almost blew our camp apart but uh today decent weather but uh wanted to show you guys that and uh like i said uh we're just going to keep an eye on things down here keep reporting to you guys let you guys know exactly what's happening um and uh share these videos guys i know i know you guys have been doing a great job sharing the videos and getting the message out um uh linda uh, we counted 500 last night approximately give or take a few heads um yep there's a lot of illegals waiting for their flight out of here that's what happens after processing they're not staying here in el paso like everybody thinks um they get bus tickets they get airplane tickets and then they fly to cities near you a lot of people heading up north so if you think this doesn't affect you um you're wrong you're going to have these people in your city and they're going to need a place to live they're going to need food they're going to need health care and uh so you're gonna you're definitely uh going to be seeing these people it will affect you and like i said this isn't a, this is not uh hispanics latinos mexicans coming through here this is hondurans somalis ecuadorians uh africans guatemala uh, cubans um i mean the list goes on haitians uh we've got a ton of people down here coming through and they're coming through all the time so yeah it's just uh it's non-stop so um, when people say that we're down here just apprehending the future maids from Motel 6, <laughs> that's not even funny. It's not even a joke because I'm going to tell you guys something. That's not the case here. These, th th these are people, this is an invasion, and it's an organized invasion. These people didn't just decide one day that uh, they were going to get in large groups from all these different countries and say, hey, wouldn't now be a great time to just go live in the United States and, States and bomb rush their borders? Um, that didn't just happen one day. So we've got to get to the bottom of who's organizing this, who's funding this. And if it is George Soros, then he needs to be arrested. He needs to be locked up and tried for treason. Because this is an act of war against the country. That's the bottom line. And anybody who sees it any differently, um, try crossing into someone else's country. Try invading another country and see what happens. If, if all of us Americans decided we were going to get in bundles of twenty or 30,000 people and, and go invade Germany, uh, I promise you. We'll be met with legal Yeah, orders. we wouldn't be met with a, with an Uber service border patrol that takes us to processing to feed us and, and gets us taken care of. No, that wouldn't happen. And you know what? Yes, maybe a very small percentage of these people have a legitimate asylum claim, and I mean a very small percentage. Okay, six or seven percent would actually make it through the credible fear hearing. So you're talking about eighty percent of these people coming in that are just coming here just because, whether it's because they want a better job, uh, whether they have an alternative agenda. Um, whatever it is, maybe they heard about AOC's plan for socialism and they thought, well, let's try some American socialism if that's what's coming. But it's future, it's future voters for the Democrats as well. That's why they're pushing so hard um, to, uh, to get these people here. And that's why the left doesn't care. You know, it, it's funny how five years ago, and I've said this before, how they were so concerned about making sure that... Uh, that we had a fence, that we were able to protect our borders, and they were concerned about national security. And uh, unfortunately, that uh, that all changed. So, um, bottom line is, uh, we got to do something here, guys. Um, I'm going to keep sharing the videos. I don't know if that's going to help with any of the the liberals. They seem to just think it's okay. I don't understand where that came from. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just, uh, I don't know. We're going to have to get to the bottom of this because it ain't getting better. It's getting worse. And uh, like I said, there's a lot of people coming right now from South Mexico 
up here. Plus, we have a lot of people right here. I mean, within 10 miles of here, if you go over here into Mexico, uh, there's there's probably close to 100,000 illegals over there uh, that are in that city that, that are that are trying to get over here to get get in so there's only a few places they can get in um so when you see these little numbers of 500 that ain't nothing we could have 2,000 come at us in a day um or more so anybody who says this ain't a crisis um or they think it's a manufactured political stunt or that this is just you know donald trump uh making stuff up unfortunately trump is the only one telling the truth um, and you're not going to see stuff like this on CNN. They're not going to give you the full story of what's going on. And so that's why we have to take these videos. And that's why we have to share them and get the truth out there, get the message out there, uh, because nobody else is going to do it. So anyway, guys, I will uh, chat with you later. This is Jim, um, live from the U.S.-New Mexico border, uh, down here by Camp Liberty. If uh, you want to visit our other page, go over to Uni U uh, United Constitutional Patriots, New Mexico Border Ops. Uh, otherwise, uh, if we get anything cooking down here, I will uh, definitely uh, go live. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and thanks for sharing these videos. Talk to you later.